Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm outside the Ocho, everyone's favorite eightplex with 16 garages that's provided plenty of drama over the last year, and it's providing more drama as well today in the last month or so, even though we thought uh, there really couldn't be any much, many more things happen. Um, love the likes, love the comments, love the shares. We have lots of different videos on this property, our other properties, commercial properties, multifamily, flips, businesses, all of that. So we tend to have lots of interesting things going on. And this property tends to be in the center of most of them. So we've had squatters that we had to evict a couple months ago, um, which is kind of related to this story today a little bit. I uh, had another eviction we had to do that was horrible, just a, a family and they were very, not nice, we'll say that, never paid rent. Um, never, just didn't think they would have to move. That was a not a fun experience. And then we've had a tenant who disappeared for over a week, who we were thinking, you know, horrible, you know, something horrible might have happened. The police were thinking that too. And luckily that turned out to be a better situation than anybody had thought, so that's good. But then we have more drama happening today as the police called me again about one of the garages in back where we do have an eviction scheduled. Hopefully that happens here without too much drama and um, we'll tell you that story and what's going on there and a little bit of an update on the tenant who went missing as well too. And of course we'll have those interesting videos linked below and you can check those out if you want to see the evictions and different stuff that happened there. All right so here's the back of the property and the garages and um, each tenant gets a one car garage plus a storage unit and then these two car garages are rented separately. We've been renting them for $250 each. They've been pretty easy to rent. And um, one of the tenants there has just been a huge, um, massive problems. And it started four or five months ago where he wasn't paying rent. And then while that was happening, he kept saying he'd catch up. There was a police standoff with someone in his garage. It wasn't him. And they got arrested for all kinds of charges, pretty much stemming from drug dealing and different stuff going on in the garage. I was here, I have video of that too, where the police were at a standoff for hours with the person before they finally came out. And then um, earlier this morning, the police called me from that situation again, saying they had a different situation at the same garage and were asking for some information from me. But apparently they had a stabbing in this alley right by that garage and someone came up talking to the occupants who shouldn't be occupants i don't know if they're living in there that's been a, a question for a long time they claim they aren't but we don't know for sure and so some kind of argument someone got stabbed and so the police were trying to figure out what was going on what was happening and that happened about a month ago i guess i never heard about it until just now so we have that issue too i guess the good news is um, the eviction is scheduled, but it's still two weeks out. It's taken so much longer to get evictions done than it used to ever since COVID happened. But we have the eviction scheduled. So once that happens, we'll open up the garage, see what's in there, get all the stuff out, and hopefully we'll be done with this tenant. Now, a lot of people have mentioned you can do storage unit evictions, but you can't do a storage unit eviction. You have to do an auction. And honestly, it sounds like it's easier to do an eviction than go through the auction process where you have to give plenty of notice, store items, have a public auction, and um, it might be more expensive and more of a hassle to go that route than just the eviction route. We talked to our attorney. He suggested doing the eviction route, so that's the route we're going for this. Now, some good signs is one of his cameras is gone, so I don't know if he is moving out or in the process of moving out, but he had a couple of cameras all over one of those is gone and yeah you can see the garage is just destroyed and we are replacing these doors with metal doors um, as you can see the one to the left was replaced and the one just behind us was replaced too when we have that opportunity especially along this alley right here so um, that's the update and the ironic thing that we don't think it's related but the squatter story one of the guys who first met me when i first went to the apartment and figured out people had moved in who weren't supposed to be moving in and they moved their friends in and they were kind of related to the tenant who'd moved out but um, they definitely shouldn't have been there well the main person I was talking to had said he got stabbed in an alley got jumped and he showed me his wound on his arm which was massive and kind of taped together and said there's no way he's going to the hospital because I don't know he gave me some excuse but we probably know why he didn't want to go to the hospital but I was talking to the police about that too and they're like yeah that sounds like this but not related because this happened way after that so 
interesting property we have here at the Ocho. And like I said, the tenant was found, he's safe. Um, he will no longer be renting the apartment from us, so that's kind of a tricky situation. Uh, he might be leaving a lot of his stuff too, so we're trying to figure out how to handle that, but I'll have more information on that here coming up soon. Good plug to let people know you should subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet, but we'll kind of talk about that a little bit more. I'm um, trying to respect his privacy and, and also help other landlords out as well with that situation, but he was missing for a week. No one had heard of, from him. They found him, he was safe. I don't know the exact details on where they found him or what happened, but I do have a little bit of information um, on that. So, um, like I said, fun at the Ocho. We'll have this eviction here coming up in a couple of weeks and other good reasons to, to subscribe and other updates here as well. All right, thanks for watching. Love the support, love the likes, love the comments, and we'll be back here soon.